Hello guys, in this video I will share with you how to export Java file in Eclipse IDE. You will learn how to create Java files for Java projects, for the flowing types of Java files, a library Java file which is non-executable and uh, runnable Java file uh, with the external libraries or dependency and a runnable Java file with external libraries. So, what is Java file? You know in Java, Java stands for Java Archive. It is a type of file in zip format and a Java file contains a Java class files, metadata or manifest information, resources like text or images, and there are two main types of Java file, non-executable or libraries and executable or runnable for programs. As you can see, I have a Zara project in Eclipse IDE here, uh, Network UTs. And in this project, I have a couple of uh, Java classes, uh, two uh, utility classes, HTTP utility and motorbot utility. And now I want to export this um, project to a Zara file so it can be used in other projects. So in Eclipse, you can go to the menu file and you can see the command uh, export here or you can right click on the project and you can see the command uh, export from the context menu here click export and in the export dialog choose java and java file here and click next and we uh, choose to uh, export only the java classes so uncheck eclipse uh, files here and leave the default options. I spot the zeroed class files and resources and then specify the name and desti destination for the uh, I spotted Java file here. Here I browse to uh, my uh, project, my projects here. And if this here, I want to uh, export the file to a disk directory distribution and enter the file name for the jar file is net.codejava.network and I can type the version number 1.0 and click save. You can type uh, the jar file name directory here. That's it and click uh, finish. And let's open the project directory or refresh the project here and you can see the disk directory got created here and the jar file net.codejava.network dash 1.0.jar got created here. Uh, open the project directory to see the jar file. This directory and you can see this is a jar file uh, created by Eclipse IDE. And you can uh, use a zip program like 7zip to view the content of this Java file because a Java file is actually in zip format. So I open in 7zip. Mm. Open the archive as zip. And you can see, you just see the content of the uh, Java file, uh, library Java file. And this is a package name and inside you can see two java classes that's it and uh, um, Eclipse automatically uh, creates the manifest information for the java file here and you can see the content of this manifest file view you can see it is empty because uh, this is very simple library java file that's it how to export a library Java file in Eclipse IDE. Next, I will show you how to export a Java Swing application to a runnable Java file. As you can see in Eclipse IDE, I have a Java project sound recorder here. And this is a main uh, class. Let me run this program in uh, Eclipse IDE. 
This is a cell recorder program in Java Swing. Run Swing cell recorder. And you can see the user interface of this cell recorder program. Now, uh, to export this project to a runnable Java file, uh, right click on the project, uh, export, and to runnable Java file from the list here, and click next. And in this runnable Java file export, you choose the uh, launch uh, configuration. So choose a launch configuration correctly and then specify the export destination mm, for example I want to export to the uh, project directory projects uh, cell recorder and the Java file name is uh, cell recorder save that's it. You choose a launch configuration and choose a export destination, the jar file name. And uh, under the library handling here, you can see there are three options. It track required libraries into the rated jar file. Backlist required libraries to, into the rated jar. And copy required libraries into a subfolder next to the rated jar file. Because this project doesn't have any external libraries uh, dependencies, so we don't care about this option. Just click finish, and the uh, export finished with warnings. No problem. Okay, and you can see in the project the jar file shall record what created here, and let's open the project directory to. Run that jar file, runnable jar file, cell recorder, and you can see cell recorder jar file. Yeah, I spotted here. Mm, first, before running this uh, runnable jar file, let's see it in a uh, 7-zip program. Open uh, as a zip file, and you can see this is the content of the runnable jar file. This is Java package name, and this is Java classes, resource CLI images, and the manifest information. And you can see here, you right know, click view, and you can see in the manifest file for this runnable jar file, you can see the main class specifies is the fully qualified name to the main class, which is swing for a cell recorder. And the class path is the dot. Uh, referring to the current directory, and that's it. And now we can run this uh, executable jar file by double clicking on this jar file, and you can see the program uh, screen cell recorder appears. Very nice, right? So that's how to uh, export a uh, runnable jar file for a project uh, with our. Uh, uh, external libraries or dependencies. Next, I'm going to show you how to export a uh, Java project to a uh, runnable Java file uh, with external libraries or dependency. As you can see in Eclipse IDE, I have the students import a project here. This is a Java Maven project and this is a main class. And in this class, you can see it. Uh, connects to a MySQL database and uh, read uh, students information from an Excel file then import uh, student information into the database and that's it and in this project you can see we have some uh, external libraries uh, and you can see here Apache Pi is a library for reading and writing Microsoft Office documents Excel document in this project and uh, MySQL ZDBC driver, MySQL connector Java. So we have several uh, external libraries for this project. Now let's export this project into a runnable Java file with external libraries. So right click on the project, uh, export, choose you know, runnable Java file from the list next and choose a launch configuration
which is the student in water and uh, choose a destination for the exported trial fry student importer I want to export in the uh, literary list one and the uh, Java name is students importer click save and because is this project uh, depends on some external libraries so this option uh, we need to care about these options the last option copy require libraries into a subfolder next to the generated jar file yeah, i recommend you to use this so uh, the library jar file is uh, uh, untouched that's it and click uh, finish Uh, refresh the project and you can see the list on it three here and you can see the students importer dot java I got created here and beside eclipse put the external libraries java files here let's open the, uh, the project directory students importer here list one and you can see the main Java here and the external libraries are put into a separate directory here as you can see uh, because this is a command line program so now let's run this program using uh, Windows command prompt here change the current directory to this directory copy And I tie this Java dash Java and the Java file name to run the program. Before that, uh, let me show you the content of the Java file in the 7-zip. Open a KIS and zip format, and you can see in the meta uh, manifest uh, file. You can see you can see the main class uh, for the Jafai here, students importer, and in the class part, yet you can see it lists uh, all the reference external libraries here. That's it. And now let's run this uh, program. This we import uh, uh, information from Excel file to uh, database. In the project directory, you can see a, an Excel file here. So I copy this Excel file into the same directory as the program. Yes, yeah. And in the MySQL database, uh, the table student is now empty. Now let's run this program. Enter. And you can see import. Uh, done in uh, 3523 milliseconds. Now let's check the result in the database. Refresh and you can see students' information uh, were imported successfully into my SPL database. Perfect, right? So that's how to uh, export uh, a Java project to a runnable Java file with the option putting your external libraries into a separate directory uh, like this as you can see student import underscore lib now I will show you how to export with another export option right click export runnable Java file next and I change the destination to uh, into the directory list 2 and I choose the option uh, package the required libraries into generated jar file uh, that means Eclipse we uh, copy the required uh, libraries into the generated jar file so we have only one a single jar file and click finish just to create the list 2 directory and uh, open the project directory 
you can see the this two directory what created here and inside that you can see there's only one single jar file student importer uh, view this uh, jar file in uh, seven zip you can see the content you can see the external libraries the reference libraries uh, packed into this jar file here and you can see the manifest file here view you see and eclipse uh, generates this attribute to specify the class path inside the jar files that's it and the main class is uh, eclipse class loader here yeah. that's it and you can see eclipse automatically uh, uh, put uh, the class is class loader into this jar file here so we can have a single jar file that contains the uh, external libraries uh, inside the jar file itself and finally let's experiment the last option for exporting a runnable jar file uh, right click export runnable jar file and now I change the destination directory to list 3 and I choose the first option the first option we extract the required libraries into a generated jar file that means Eclipse we extract all the classes in the external libraries into the generated jar file let's see how it uh, it how it we export in such type jar file click finish and you can see a warning from eclipse this operation repacks reference libraries so make sure that you have permission with the associated libraries that allows you the permission to repack okay yes uh, with this option the exporting uh, uh, process is uh, slower because Eclipse uh, needs to extract all the classes in the libraries into the generated file and let's check the project directory and you can see the this three directory here and we have only one single jar file uh, got uh, created here uh, let's view it in uh, 7 zip open the KS uh, zip as you can see here Eclipse uh, it tracks and uh, repacks all the classes from the libraries as you can see here you can see f uh, for Apache Pi library here that's it so you can understand the differences between the three options when uh, exporting a runnable jar file here and I recommend you to use the last option uh, copy require libraries into a subfolder next to the generated jar file or the second option is uh, also good as well so that you have learned how to export jar file in Eclipse IDE I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.